Dear students, hope you have comprehended the first two stances of the poem. And now you will be able to explain them. Before jumping to the explanation of our next two stances, it is a good idea to revise main points of our previous reading and understanding of the poem, The Old Brown Horse. Here we go through the main points of our presentation of the last week. Revision of the Main Ideas W. F. Holmes is the poet of this beautiful poem The Old Brown Horse. The poem is a sad description of an old brown horse who is now very old and half blind. He had seen better days when he was young. He seems to be speaking to the people who passed by the field. People, busy in their jobs, are unconcerned about the horse's existence. Now let's start the third stanza. Sometimes a friendly soul will stop. Near the fence, where the tired old head rests wearily on the topmost bar. And a friendly word is said. In these lines the poet tells us when the old horse is standing sad keeping his head on the top bar of the fence, some sympathetic person comes close to him and says kind words. He likes his soft touch of hand on his head, the old horse takes a sigh full of pain as the poet says. Then the old brown horse gives a little sigh. Because he has not been touched and treated such a kind words and affection for a long time. Maybe he recalls the time when his master used to touch him with love and admiration. But his master has forgotten him and left him. And uses motor car for traveling. The poet says. As he feels the kindly touch. Of a hand on his mane or his shaggy coat. And he doesn't mind so much. When the person takes pity on the horse and speaks a kind word or two, soothing the horse's agony, touching his mane or shaggy coat, the horse does not mind his act of kindness just like he does not mind other differences. Now, let us see what is the rhyming scheme of this stanza. The rhyming scheme of this stanza is Odd lines rhyme which is A B C B D E F E In this last stanza, the poet advises his readers to show respect for the old horse. The horse feels that life is not so bad. When a friendly person stops by to speak to him and gives him a friendly pat on his shaggy coat. So the poet says. So if you pass by the field one day. Just stop for a word or two. With the old brown horse who was once as young. And as full of life as you. As the reader moves towards the end of the poem, the poet asks rather requests the reader to stop for a while if he happens to pass by the field where the old brown horse stands and speaks a few affectionate words. The poet is of the view that the horse was once as young and lively as the person. He should be treated kindly even at his old age and one should exchange a friendly word or two with the old brown horse. The poet says. He'll love the touch of your soft young hand. And I know he'll seem to say. Oh, thank you, friend, for the kindly thought. For a horse who has had his day. The horse would love the generous touch of the person's young hands and would be grateful for the kind concern shown to a horse that had his day means this behavior of the human being acknowledges the services rendered by the horse when he was young and strong. Now, let us see what is the rhyming scheme of this stanza. The rhyming scheme of this stanza is Odd lines rhyme which is B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Dear students, hope you have understood the poem. Now it is your turn to answer the worksheets which are sent to you along with this video presentation.